Pesach is coming, Passover holiday, celebrating our freedom from 2,000 years ago. Why do we Jews always bring lessons from the past? It was a long, long time ago. Shouldn't we be looking, be more forward-looking? We use the past for the future. We don't stop with the past. We uh, talk about, in the Haggadah, the first part of the Haggadah before, Shulchan before, we eat the festive uh, Yom Tov dinner. We talk about the past. Afterwards, we talk about the future. But we take the, uh, uh, the, the feeling and the lessons of the past to give us the good shot in the arm to act properly in the future. Because we look back at our forefathers who were very great and they were greater than we are and we have to look back at them to know how to live and how to conduct ourselves and how to live in the future. So we always have to go back to the past, but we don't stop with the past. We always look in the future. How can we learn from that? Just like we're talking about now, we don't look at that tragedy. It's a tragedy and go further. No, tragedy. And now, what should we learn from the tragedy? What should we do with ourselves? Pesach Seder, we look at the past. What happened to going out of Egypt? All the miracles God did for us. Now, what does that mean for us? How to conduct ourselves in the future? What should we commit ourselves to do? So there's no such thing in Judaism that we just look at the past. The past is only a stepping stone for the future.